Welcome back, Rangers and Helldivers, for breaking news from Super Earth and our Helldivers on the front. My name is Strider Valor, your host, and my team and I are here to give you weekly updates from Super Earth regarding the ongoing war with the Terminids and Automatons. Just a brief reminder, we include timestamps so you can get the info you need democratically. Check the description. We do not have any updates from our partner, Credit Kelly at Strowman News, but we have received a marketed image from the Ministry of Truth describing the upcoming large patch and it reads patrols and spawn rate reverted visible supply lines and attack origins invite only lobbies super samples at level six extreme unlimited grenade fix and then more than 100 changes and fixes. We are very excited for this news that has now been broadcasting throughout Super Earth to all the Helldivers and Rangers in our community. And this could not have come at a better time. And we are so looking forward to this patch on Tuesday. Next up, we have weather for Super Earth from our meteorologist here in-house, Son of Valor. To you, Son of Valor. Thank you, Strider. And <laughs> Thank you, gorgeous. <laughs> Hello citizens of Super Earth, it is my honor and privilege to give you our weekly forecast. Today we have Liberty, Saturday we have Liberty, and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> you guessed it, we have Liberty. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have for you today. But until next time, back to you Strider and long live. Super Earth. Thank you, Son of Valor, for the Super Earth weather. We now want to take this time to thank you, Rangers and Helldivers, for supporting us here on this channel. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to stay up to date. Now we move on to news from the front. The Terminate infestation has been cleansed for many worlds, undoing much of the crisis forced upon our citizens by the Terminate's horrific super colony. They still infest much of the territory outside the quarantine zone, and spore levels are still far higher than they were pre-super colony. But with this victory, our citizens can begin resettlement of the homes they were forced to abandon. Well done, Helldivers. Your briefing, Helldivers, today is while the super colony diverted our attention, the Automaton Legion has continued to spread their oppressive regime. Unhindered, they have ruthlessly colonized and exploited the resources of planet after planet, single-mindedly focused on increasing their military might. Furthermore, many gaps remain in our military intelligence regarding the Automatons. The originated location of the invasion fleet is yet unknown. The Automatons' focus on Cyberstan remains unexplained, save for wild speculation. What do you think, Helldiver? Comment below. As for the Automaton's ultimate objective, that could not be more clear. It is the utter destruction of our way of life. Their rigid programming cannot tolerate our unbridled freedom. However, our analysts have identified a large Automaton data center, codenamed Database One. Deep within Automaton territory, it is protected by exceptionally robust encryption protocols. Whatever data is stored there, much effort has been expended to keep it hidden. The Helldivers are ordered to liberate the planet, capturing the database one and allowing manual extraction of the data. With the super colony finally destroyed, the end of the automaton's illegal occupation is within our grasp. Our valiant resistance begins today. Next up, we have the major order news as we have had a successful major order. For the next three and a half days, Helldivers, you are ordered to liberate the designated planet Wasat, which holds Database 1. In order to liberate Wasat, we need to conquer the planets of Wezen and Vega Bay. Keep in mind that Wezen is a fire planet, so energy weapons will heat up quickly and we will face fire tornadoes. Vega Bay is a cold planet with blizzards, so remember to bring in your sickle and muscle enhancement booster. Lastly, Wasat brings in intense heat and acid storms. Now, a message from Brash Tactics about a Helldiver's ABCs. You will get shot at. But remember your ABCs and you will never die. Always be taking cover. Because if there's one thing I've learned, it's that bullets do not go through cover. Assuming that cover is thick and largely impenetrable. Brash tactics! Use them or die trying! Thank you, Brash, for those wonderful tips. First, your personal order of the day, Hell Divers, is to kill 200 enemies using the Stalwart. This is one of my personal favorite weapons to disperse managed democracy to Liberty's enemies. 
Next up, the Superstore. We have two armors. We have the B24 Enforcer and the CE74. The B24 Enforcer further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30% and provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. Very useful at smashing some automatons. Moving on, the CE74 further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30% as well, and it increases your grenade inventory by two. To the exciting news, Hell Divers, the new Warbond has officially been announced from Super Earth and is now in the marketing phase and is releasing next June 13, so start saving up those Super Credits. And let's dive into the war bond. For primary, we're giving you a new version of the Liberator, the AR23A Liberator Carbine. But this one has a modified shortened form factor that handles differently from the true plastic with a bit higher recoil, but faster handling that feels perfect for spraying and praying up close. You can combine carrying that with a new SG-22 Bushwhacker triple bear sawed off shotgun with two different firing modes, including one that fires all three barrels at once or you can do the single shots. Both armors in this Warbond feature the Peak Physique passive, which improves melee damage and weapon handling. They both also feature bare arms and bulging biceps to keep you sweat free when diving in the humid atmosphere. I also do want to highlight that what we can see on this, this footage is we may even get a new bio, which as a hell diver, I am very excited. What happened? June 3rd, check out my last video in the top right corner, and let's stay up to date and work together, Helldivers. Reminder, the democracy officer's personal sauna is off limits to crew. With that being said, thank you Rangers and Helldivers for choosing us to be your Super Earth Update Network. We want to invite you to join us Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Central Time for drops wherever Super Earth requires. Our Discord link is below and we would like to enlist you with our Rangers of Super Earth Special Forces. See you in the next news video.